When you've got one roommate, it's pretty obvious who ate your last piece of cake when just the two of you were home. In the 1990 case of Eaton v. Eaton, we examine a case in which the circumstantial evidence surrounding a car accident is also rather undeniable. Late one night in May of 1984, Donna Eaton and her mother Sandra were heading home from Newark, New Jersey, on Route 24. The two-lane highway was dry and the weather was clear. However, their car struck a guardrail, flew 50 feet in the air, flipped over, and landed on its roof after colliding with some trees. Damage to the passenger side was bad, but it was minimal on the driver's side. Donna's shoe was wedged under the brake pedal. Sandra's feet were trapped in the collapsed passenger footwell, and first responders had to extricate her from the car. Sandra was taken to a local hospital and later died. Before her death, Sandra told police that her daughter had been driving. Donna told police it was her mother who had been driving and swerved off the road to avoid another oncoming vehicle. Only one set of recent tire marks was found at the scene. Sandra's estate sued Donna for negligence in a wrongful death action in trial court. The jury determined that Donna was the driver but did not find her to have been negligent. Sandra's estate appealed, contending that the jury should have been instructed on res ipsa loquitur. The appellate court reversed and remanded, and the New Jersey Supreme Court agreed to review the case.